what you guys got another video on chrome settings you should change now if you've just installed google chrome on your computer these are some of the settings you might want to consider changing on your actual uh, browser so let's go ahead and get this downloaded and get it installed on here because i want to start off with a fresh copy of google chrome so you get an idea exactly what to uh, change now the first thing it's going to do is ask you to sign in so if you're signing in to your google account then the first thing i'd like to change is my google activity and you can get that from myactivity.google.com and basically you can turn off some of these features that you don't want for instance web and app activity location activity and you can even turn off some of the youtube history if you want to once you've done that head over to the activity controls here and you can see web and app activity is turned off if this was turned on you'll have a bit more control on some of the options that you might want to include so for instance your voice and audio activity and other things that they collect so if you turn this off it's not going to collect any of that information but if you are turning it on you might have some other options there that you can uh, tweak to your liking if you want to have those features enabled let's move on down a little bit further to some of the other features down the bottom that you might want to consider uh, changing and this will be to do with your location history so let's go ahead and pull down so location history is turned off on my system but if you have got it on basically what this is going to do is to allow google to save where you go with your devices even if you aren't using a specific sort of uh, google service it's going to copy all of that information also youtube history is another one you might want to consider changing here i'm going to leave this uh, as is but if you want to turn this off you can do but this is basically going to include your youtube videos and other things like that next we're going to set up our browser here so let's go through here and make this our default browser if you are using google chrome if you want to see this sort of tutorial on other browsers then let me know in the comment section below what one you want to see it on and i'll be happy to make those videos for you i'm going to go ahead and create our uh, default browser for google chrome i'm going to go through some of the privacy settings here and uh, we're going to go through these and then basically once we've done this we're ready to make some changes now before we get to the meat and potatoes of the actual tutorial let's quickly change the theme color to something a little bit more pleasing you can change it to whatever you like here i'm going to change it to this color scheme here once we've done this we can go up to the three dots on the top right hand side here and go into the settings pane of our browser and this will allow us to make some changes here now the first thing you want to do is really run a safety check on your browser so let's go ahead and go to privacy and security here and you should see a safety check right here run this safety check on your system and this will give you a general overview of what safety features you have enabled on there you can see that password manager has not been used yet and it's advising us to have some sort of password manager enabled so you can do that right inside google chrome if you wish next we're going to take the privacy guide here get started and then click next and it's going to go through a bunch of features that you can enable and turn off and turn on depending on what your requirements are you can see here we've got safe browsing protection you can go to enhanced here if you want to or leave it on standard depending on what sort of level you want to set it at also we can block third party cookies right here so block all third party cookies is what i'd advise you to do right here put that into there and then move on to the next one i'll show you how to do this without going through this feature uh, a little bit later on just in case you're wondering where it is privacy sandbox troll you can do that there as well i'm leaving that as is and what we need to do next is go to this area right down here where it says third party cookies and this is where you can make changes to your cookies you can see here block third party cookies has already been selected there's another little one here which i like to turn on which is do not track and basically this means you're not going to send any data back and you can toggle that on there that's another area i like to uh, turn on so next up inside the settings content and pop-ups you can make changes here for your pop-ups and redirection if you want to it says do not allow sites to send pop-ups or use redirects and that's important to have that on because otherwise you can get people using exploits to try to redirect you especially those uh, scamming type sites which will automatically redirect you to ads and things like that so have that set 
inside here, inside your privacy and security, you'll see it right there. But next up, we're going to go to uh, the site settings here and then go into notifications. And inside here, we can set the notifications to whatever you like here. This is so you don't get notified. Sometimes you get those little pop up boxes that are popping up on the screen, which actually drive you nuts. And you can see here, site can ask to send notifications or use quieter messaging, or you can do not allow sites to send notifications. Okay, we're still in the privacy and security tab. And I just want to show you here, this is the pop-ups and redirects area here. So that is that area there. We've already done this one. So let's go back and take a look at JavaScript. Sites can use JavaScript right here. You can leave this on if you wish, or you can put do not allow sites to use JavaScript. And if you land on a site, that needs JavaScript, you can determine whether you want to toggle it on just for that site. It will come up on the top right hand side and you can determine whether you want to allow JavaScript to run on that site. Sites like say YouTube might need JavaScript to run and you can just allow YouTube to run it, but it will still be off mainly for all of the other sites that you want to keep it off for. So let's go to the location area here. You can say do not allow to see my location if you wish and put that radio button in there. If you want them to see your uh, location, you can do, uh, but it's going to disable bunches of features like your weather and things like that. While we're still in privacy and security, let's go ahead and look at the camera area and turn that off if you're not using a webcam. If you are, then you'll need to leave the webcam on. Same thing for microphone. If you use applications that uh, use your browser with microphone, you'll need to leave that on. But if you're not using it, then you can turn it off. So let's go ahead and stay in privacy and security and quickly check the security tab over on the right hand pane here. And you can see this is where you'll get your enhanced protection, which we went through a little bit earlier on. And that's where you can set this up right here. If you want to make changes, you can do. And you can see here, always use secure connections, HTTPS. So you can toggle this on. There's another area I like to leave toggled on. And uh, you can see down below here, use secure DNS as well, make sure that slider is on as well. And you can see, use your current service provider's DNS service. So Virgin Media's uh, DNS servers are pretty good. So I'm not gonna change mine, but if you do need to change yours because the one you've got is rubbish, or you want something a bit more secure or private, you can change it. And you can see here, we've just changed it like so. And there's a bunch of them inside here. And there's family friendly ones there to block a lot of adult stuff that you might not want your children to see. And you can make changes inside here. And sometimes if you've got poor DNS servers, it can help with faster loading times on your pages. OK, so let's go into the search engine here. And this is where you can change your default search engine. Now, by default, it's set to Google because it is their browser and uh, they do have a pretty good search engine. But if you want something so called a bit more private, you can use DuckDuckGo or you can use Bing or whatever it is you want to use inside your search engine options here. You can also add in ones that yourself. Okay, let me just quickly show you the password manager because it's up here where it says Google password manager. If you want to set this up, this is where you would set up your password manager as well, which is advisable if you are using uh, this sort of browser. Another thing you can do here is go into performance here and toggle on the memory saver here, especially if you're on a system that has low system resources you might want to toggle this on uh, to make things a little bit more easier for you another thing you can do if you're on a low end system is go into system here and you can see here continue running background apps when google chrome is closed i'd advise you to take that off as well and sometimes you can see here use hardware acceleration when available some people have claimed that this actually causes a lot of problems for their system i've not had an issue with it but you can leave this toggled on if you wish. But if you find it causing you issues, you can toggle that off and see whether that resolves any of your problems. So that's under the system tab. Next up, we're going to go into the languages area here. Inside your languages, you'll see basic spell check. I'm going to put this to an enhanced spell check because I need all the help I can get when it comes to spelling. So that's always useful. So I'm going to just toggle that on there. And we're just going to go and have a quick look through here to make sure everything is as is. Now up on the very top here, you and Google, let's click on this one here and go into uh, Sync and Google services here. And you can see here, there's a, some rocker buttons here that you can mess around with. And uh, just inside here, improve and search suggestions. 
And there's another one here, help improve uh, Chrome's features and performance. I've turned that off. And again, this might be something here that you don't want and you can toggle these off. Make searches better. And that means basically they're going to send some URLs of pages that you visited back to Google. So if you don't want them knowing where you're going, then maybe toggle that one off right there. So I just wanted to show you this with the JavaScript. You can see uh, YouTube is not working correctly, but it will give you a little thing up the top there saying always use JavaScript for this site. And that's OK because it's YouTube, but you get the choice whether you want to run it or not on that computer. Now, I showed you this one the other day, which is your uh, web RTC and uh, anonymous local IPs exposed. We might want to enable that feature right there. And that's pretty much it, really, for Google Chrome. There's a few more things you can mess around with, but these are the most common things that you can tweak inside the uh, Google Chrome settings, which sometimes need to be just tweaked when you first install it because everything's set to default. But these are all going to be preference to yourself, whether you want to enable these features or not, will be entirely up to you. Anyway, with that said, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.